In this tutorial video, we're going to see how to use the hash table collection in Java. Now, hash tables are an extremely useful mechanism for storing data. Hash tables work by, ma by mapping uh, a key to a value which is stored in an in memory data structure. So rather than searching through all elements of the hash table for a matching key, a hashing function analyzes a key and returns an index number. This index matches a stored value and the data is then accessed, as you can see in this diagram just below. So in that regard, hash tables and arrays uh, are very similar. They're both structures that allow you to store and retrieve data. Both allow you to specify an index and retrieve a value associated with it. The difference, however, is that indices of an array are sequential, while those of a hash table are based on the value of the data associated with them. So for more information on hash tables, you can go to the uh, Oracle um, documentation here at this link. So in the next step, we're going to see how to um, use a hash table in Eclipse. In this step, we're going to see how to create a hash table in Eclipse. Now, in order to create a hash table, we first have to import the hash table class from the Java utility package, like so. And then we can uh, instantiate our object named HT of type hash table using the hash table constructor from the hash table class. Now that our hash table has been created, we need to, in, we need to uh, insert keys and the values corresponding to those keys into it. So that's what we're doing here. So the name of our hash table, ht, with uh, the put method, which allows us to insert keys and values corresponding. So in this case, the key David and its value, uh, its corresponding value, 1000. Again, uh, the key John and its corresponding value, 500, etc, etc. Now that we've uh, inserted keys and values to our hash table, we want to uh, display the values of our hash table with the enumeration interface and that's why we imported the enumeration interface at the top here. Now the enumeration interface defines the methods by which you can enumerate the elements in a, in, in a, in a collection of um, objects. So inside the enumeration interface we have access to two methods. The first is has more elements here as you can see. Now this is a boolean method. When implemented it must return true while there are still more elements to, ex to extract and false when all the el elements have been enumerated. The second method that is in the uh, enumeration interface is the next element method here. This returns the next object in the enumeration as a generic object reference. So that, that's why we can use these, uh, these methods, because we've imported the enumeration interface. So in order to display uh, the values of our hash table, we're going to create a variable named e of type enumeration, and that variable will be equal to the elements of our hash table. Then we're going to use a while loop uh, with our uh, variable that we just created, and also with the method has more elements which again must return true while there are still more elements to extract. So then we're going to be able to print out uh, the uh, next element method with our variable, which is going to return the next object in the enumeration as a generic object reference. So this is going to let us um, display the values of our table, of our hash table. And then just to play around, uh, I've added a few other methods here. Uh, so in this case, uh, the size method, which allows you to find the size of the hash table. Uh, the contains key, which uh, is going to let you... Um, uh, it's a Boolean method that's going, to, uh, that's going to return a result of true or false. In this case, if a key is in your, in your hash table, and the same principle for um, the value. It's a Boolean uh, method, which is going to... Um, return true or false if um, a certain value is in your um, hash table. 
So in this case, uh, we want to know is does the hash table contain the key David and does the hash table contain uh, the value 5000. So let's run our program here. And as you can see, all of the values of the hash table are displayed with um, this part of our code. Then with this code, we are determining the size of our hash table. So the size of the hash table is in Java is 4. And uh, then we're determining if uh, the hash table contains the, contains the key David, which it does. It's true. We get a true return. And uh, then we want to determine if our hash table contains 5000 as a value, which is true also. So that's how you use the hash table uh, in Java.